What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my movie channel. My name is Tom. Thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of The Iron Giant. I love this movie. For those of you who have not seen The Iron Giant, I would highly recommend going to see this film, or at least picking it up on Blu-ray. It's, it's a very, very well done, one of the most underrated animated films, in my opinion, of all time. This video, for the most part, will contain spoilers for the movie, so if you have not seen The Iron Giant, you might want to turn away now, but I really do enjoy this film, and I re-watched it to do this review, and I'd forgotten just how good this film is. And for a film that's, you know, over 10 years old now, is a film that still visually looks very, very good. The animation is beautifully done in this film, directed by Brad Bird, starring Vin Diesel as the voice of the giant. I call this Vin Diesel's audition tape for Groot uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy, because before he was Groot, he was the Iron Giant. And I love, love, love this film. Can you tell? I Haven't I said that enough? So first of all, what I love about this film is the relationship that slowly builds throughout the film between Hogarth, the little boy, and the giant. You know, he starts out, he has to teach him some things, he learns how to communicate with the giant, the giant learns how to communicate with humans. It's a wonderful relationship that builds so beautifully, and by the end of the film it's very emotional. You know, what happens at the end of the film with the giant turning on everybody, it's a very emotional thing. I also love the character of Dean in the film, played by uh, Harry Connick Jr. He's a great character, one of my favourite, most quotable lines that I quote a lot, just randomly for no reason at all, is just, call me Dean. It's such a great line, he's such a great character. And also, you know, not only does he try and teach Hogarth some lessons, he tries to, you know, teach the giant some lessons, but he also learns lessons from Hogarth and the giant's friendship, and he learns things from that, and I love that he kind of plays this you know, role in the film where at first he doesn't want to get involved, he wants nothing to do with it, and by the end, you know, he ends up becoming kind of a hero of the film, almost. And it's, I just think it's a wonderful character. It's beautifully written and beautifully acted. Do you know what also is really great about this movie is the way that humour is used? Because the way that humour is used in this movie, examples are like the squirrel in Dean's pants at the beginning, the whole giant copying Hogarth, jumping into the lake and water going everywhere. It's such a great, you know, film full of great funny moments that I really, really enjoy. I also love that throughout this film, the the giant, you know, he the, there's a slow build of humanity within the giant that builds throughout the film. And there are some great moments in the movie where you see, you know, the giant almost becoming more and more human as the film progresses. Like him coming across the dead deer and you see the sad expression on his face. It's it's very, very beautiful and very, very touching to see that. And I've always loved seeing, you know, artificial um, creatures or robots, you know, show moments of humanity and, and moments where you feel like they're almost a human, you relate to them almost on a human level. I just love moments like that in film. And the Iron Giant has some of those moments in this movie, and it's just, it's, uh, again, the word I u keep using to describe this film is beautiful, and this film is full, so, full of so many beautiful, wonderful moments. The whole third act sequence with the giant, you know, almost turning evil, and then having that whole I'm not a gun moment, having the ultimate sacrifice, those sorts of things is what makes this film very, very touching. Now, I do have to question one thing. This film was produced and is owned by Warner Brothers, who also owns, you know, all the DC characters. And, of course, in the film, the Iron Giant puts the S on his chest and he has that beautiful, wonderful moment um, where he's flying and he has that Superman. And I just... I, I don't understand why they wouldn't just put a little little moment in there with the John Williams Superman theme. I thought that would have been brilliant. I'm watching the film, and it's funny because I almost remembered, you know, when I was watching the film again, you know, all the memories I have of watching The Iron Giant as a kid, I always seem to remember hearing the John Williams Superman theme with that moment, but 
that's not what happens in the film, but I always seem to remember that happening. So it's really weird how how my memory was almost playing tricks on me in a way, because I almost expected to hear it, and that's one of the things that I thought this film could have done, considering it's owned by the same studio who does all the DC films, that they could have put the Superman theme in there. I don't know why they did. The other thing I've always pondered is the Iron Giant, at the end of this film, it almost sets up for a sequel where you see the bits, all the bits and pieces of the Giant and it, they will come and he starts to rebuild himself. I always wondered, you know, it looked like they were setting up for a potential sequel and we never got that sequel and I'm dying to see what an Iron Giant 2 would look like. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but hopefully it does. Uh, if it does, I'll be very, very excited for it. But anyway, guys, that is my review for the Iron Giant. I love this film. I think... You know, from, char from a character perspective of Dean or Hogarth the Giant, um, Hogarth's mum, or even Kent Mansley, who I think is one of the most greatest um, animation villains that we've ever seen. I think he's fantastic. He's, he's terrifying, uh, but he's also funny. He's a great character. This film has so many great things about it, and it's a very, very underrated, almost a cult classic film that I enjoy. I hope a lot of you guys have seen it. If you haven't, go and see, find The Iron Giant on DVD and Blu-ray and just watch it. Rent it on, you know, Netflix or wherever it's available. Just watch it if you haven't seen it because it's a fantastic film. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that subscribe button, uh, leave a like, leave a comment below. And I do have a review of Back to the Future coming soon. These reviews obviously are in preparation for Ready Player One because the Iron Giant is playing a part in Ready Player One and also so is the DeLorean. So, once again, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs>